right, well, hopefully you guys are enjoying the show so far uh, as we just started opening the show. But of course, we're going to get into the game segment of the show. And later down the line, we'll have the mental conversation that we are supposed to have with Aisha and Hadi. We're super excited for them. And hopefully you guys are too. And hopefully you guys will definitely support their businesses because they do really amazing stuff. Let's go ahead and move on to the next part of this uh, show, which is the game segment, which we always have fun. I'm super excited for it. And of course, the game that we have for you guys today is Family Feud. Yeah, Juba, so the game we have today is going to be the Family Feud. And most of you that are watching probably are kind of familiar with the Family Feud, but if you're not, so Juka, because she's a loser, so she's going to be the one asking the questions today. We'll just like give her the moderator of fuel today because we already know she lose and she's going to lose again. So we're just gonna okay, make her. Okay, go ahead with the game. Right? Juka is going to ask a question, and whoever comes up with the most popular answer is gonna get a point, and then we'll have a winner at the end of the show. Aisha and Hadi. Don't see yourself out of this because you're playing too. <laughs> All right, and let's see who, who is going to be the winner of this. Aisha and Hadi, are you guys ready? I'm rooting, I'm rooting for you both. Stay, stay hyping everybody up, loser. Go ahead, get going. <laughs> All right, Amy, the shades you throw, they're colorless, okay? So let's go. <laughs> wow. Right, everybody's yeah. ready for this <laughs> family meal. <laughs> Welcome to the family meal. No, okay, let's see who's gonna get this right. Something you hold very carefully. Something you hold very daily to you. My man. But you don't have any. <laughs> I do. Okay. Okay. What's the answer? An egg. Okay. All right, Dr. J. My money. Money, okay. okay. A baby. Okay. And then let's go to Hadi. Your, Your feet. Feet. Hadi, you don't even have confidence in what you as uh, your answer right now. Your fate, but you're going like this. Your fate, your fate, maybe not. <laughs> so he says, hmm. I think all of you guys, the first answer was memories. None of you guys had that. Okay, the second one is glass. Somebody said babies here. Who said babies? Ole, the cheetah. And then Aisha had second. Aisha said eggs. And then the last one is knives. So Amy and Dr. J, you guys are all the way in the bottom. And name something you smell before you buy it. Hadi. Next. Something you smell before you buy it. You have to smell it. next. Hadi has lost. Next. She said yes, yes, no. What did you say? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Can we have somebody do a translation? Yate is a, is a type of a seafood that we usually uh, cook with back home. And it, it's basically snails that have been like dried and kept for a long time and then we use it. And they smell. I guess, I guess if the survey is done in Africa, right? <laughs> when you go to the market in Africa, do you take the smell yes. and you smell it before you buy yes. it? Yes. Yes. No. You smell it. I don't. It already has a scent. Why do no, you want no, to smell it? No, no. to see which one is more for I mean, you know, you know. <laughs> I cook. I, I cook. Don't worry, you know cook. <laughs> okay, so we'll do a different survey for Hadi and Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Just help her out. Okay, so let's move on to the next person. Uh, the next loser, I think, was Amy. Amy. What is your answer? Perfumes. I would say candles. Dr. J just said what was on my mind. But... Something you smell before you buy. One, two, three. Something that smells good. Think about it. Wait. What else smells good? Flowers. Are you not fair? You're giving her a clue. Money. Hey, Let I, I misunderstood the question. I thought you said something you smell before you bite. Oh, you bite. Or bite. <laughs> not before you bite. Oh, you bite. Ah. Well, even that, even that, you're still wrong, I know. my friend. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> All right, Ole, what's your answer? I have two answers. So mm -hmm. my first one is food. The other one is churai. Churai is the same as for It's incense. It's incense. No, it's incense. <laughs> okay. All right. So on that note, let's see. So wh whoever said perfume and anything to do with cologne or incense has the highest score. That's Amy and Ole. Anybody say produce? No. Do you smell um, apples? Do you say mango? I know, I was going to say that too. Okay. So nobody said produce. Produce is the second one. You smell uh, pineapple. Honey can pass for produce. Yet. Honey is not a produce. No. <laughs> <laughs> Honey is not a 
yet is seafood. Seafood. Amy, yeah. Amy, how much how much yet can you eat in a in a in a bowl of food? Because you can put a lot of produce and eat it, but I don't think you can eat too much yet. <laughs> I can eat a lot of yet. Oh yeah, I'm sure. That's, That's why it looks like, like a yet. Okay. <laughs> the third one is soap. No one said soap. Losers. Okay. Flowers. I think Aisha said flowers. Aisha got that right. And then, so candles, Dr. J. Actually, Aisha, your flowers came before Dr. J. So you have the highest point. <laughs> so now we have Amy. It seems like Olay is winning this game so far. She has her name on the top. And then Aisha is becoming the second winner. Go, Aisha. Go, Aisha. Go, Am Aisha. I getting a free makeover, Amy? <laughs> <laughs> No, because I'm the loser. How can you win when I'm losing? You can't would do your makeover. You can't. <laughs> no, Ule would. Ule. No, no, I want Amy. Exactly. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Name something that you do in front of a mirror. Makeup. Okay, what's your answer, Amy? Makeup. Okay. And then Dr. J. I was the one that raised my hand first. That's fine. Go makeup. for it. What you... Makeup. Okay, and then Ole. Dancing. Aisha. Exercise. <laughs> okay, Aisha. <laughs> okay. Honey. Dancing. Aisha wants to see the way just going down <laughs> as she's pointing out. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's go to the answers. And you guys were fighting for doing your makeup. Uh, the survey wasn't answered by princesses like you guys. So it's not the first answer. Brushing your teeth in front of the mirror. Ole, you should stick with your first instinct instead of changing your answer. Hey, okay, I, I, hey, hey, I, I knew you were gonna come back and say something. Hey. No, 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 Ole, that's not fair. You cannot take it. Try on clothes. Nobody said that. Because we um, don't do that in front of a mirror. No. Yes, you do. Where do you try on clothes? Where, let's wait. Where do you try on clothes, Dr. Well, G? You the know hospital bed? Like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, in the bathroom. Okay, most likely there's a mirror in the bathroom. Oh, okay. she wears the scrubs anyway, so she doesn't need to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> the only winner here, Ole and Honey. So Ole, you are, you are actually leading this game. But for <laughs> this survey, this survey is wrong. Nobody can do their makeup like without a mirror. We didn't kind of ask you. This? We didn't ask you to tell us if the survey is wrong or right. We asked exactly. you to your answer. You're not the one who did the survey. <laughs> I believe the survey is wrong. The survey is culturally not in tune to us, so it cannot be appropriate. Who's us? Who are you? I am a beautiful black woman. <laughs> a beautiful, independent black woman. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> okay. Clarifying. So we'll do a set of survey for beautiful black, independent women uh, that India, a lot of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then we're gonna move on to the next one. Uh, name something you, you shake well before you use. Mousse. What? Hair mousse. Okay. Hair mousse or whipped cream, they're all on the same thing. Whipped cream from hair to whipped cream. <laughs> yeah, but you shake them. Yeah, you shake them. No, they're not the same answer. You already gave your answer, so eh, Ole. <laughs> watching make sure you play along and give your answers just don't give us a whipped cream and then hair mousse and say it's the same thing i don't know what kind of whipped cream you put in your hair <laughs> i'll say drinks we don't drink wine or stuff like that. uh they don't shake wine sister who told you they shake wine before they drink it <laughs> <laughs> right, something you say before you drink. no you already gave your answer already. no no that's right. not my answer wine Ah, you said why? <laughs> Honey, oh, that's that's my answer. The last time you asked me if that was, my, that was my answer, so not my Honey answer. Honey and Aisha, you guys see this foolishness here? <laughs> <laughs> you said wine. Ule. <laughs> um, let's go to Aisha. Milk. You shake milk, Aisha. Your turn. Okay. <laughs> Are you full up? <laughs> Doctor, G. I'll say nail polish. Ooh, I have not. I have not. Okay. No, Amy. Sorry. Honey. Deodorant. What kind of deodorant do you use? <laughs> I always shake it before using it. <laughs> really? Serious. She's trying, she's trying to get the, the, the juice to come on top of the ball. <laughs> oh, the liquid ones. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. This is your second chance. Something you shake before using it. Medicine. What kind of medicine? The you? ones that they say shake well before you use. <laughs> 
Doctor Jay, did you prescribe that medication for you? It's shaking up before you use it. Jay, am I lying? There's medications that say shake well before you use. You don't have to shake all medications, so you can say either elixir or you can say syrup or you can say liquid medications, but you can't just say medicine. She said it says shake it up before using it. Something that you shake. No, shake it before using it. When a man pees before they put their pe- stuff back in their pants, they're supposed to show. Sure. They're not shaking it to use it. We're talking about shaking it before you use it. <laughs> Yo. They use it, shake it. <laughs> oh my God. Let me give you guys the answer because you guys are putting us to shame right now. The first answer is salad dressing. Nobody said that. What? Yes, salad dressing. I don't, I don't shake my salad dressing. The next one. one is nail polish. And I think Dr. J got that right. We only have two more. And let's go ahead and see if we can knock Ole off her winning spot. Who's going to be able to do that? I think Amy and Dr. J are getting close. Aisha and Hadi, come on now. I'm rooting for you guys. <laughs> huh? Next one is name something you do not learn in school. Common sense. Common sense. Okay. Let's see if you have common sense, Amy. Um, <laughs> name something you do not learn in school. Aisha? Eating. Yeah. Aisha, you must be hungry. You've been talking about a lot of food right here. <laughs> Dr. J? Party training. Okay, Ole? Street smart. Or maybe you have to be a mom. Both of those are here. Just give me one. How to be a mom? Oh, please. I'm killing this game. Yes, you are. Okay, honey. How to pay your bills? Okay, well, it seems like Ole is killing this game. Uh, parenting is number one on things you do not learn in school. And the next one is house chores. Name something that you hate to see when you return to your podcast. A ticket. Yes, okay. A flat tire. Okay, Aisha? A tow truck. <laughs> A tow truck, yeah, <laughs> definitely not. Okay, yeah. And then Ole? A dent. A ticket? So the number one answer is actually ticket, a parking ticket. So Hadi climbed all the way to knock Ole <laughs> off, but I don't know if she was, if she had enough points to do that. <laughs> and then the next one is damage or scratch car. Somebody said dent. Was it Ole? Ole. Ole is in this I'm telling you this. But Juka, I also said ticket. <laughs> okay. All right. The next one is flat tires. Aisha. No, Dr. J. Aisha, I'm trying to help you out, but you're just not coming along. (laughs) I'm dragging you, like, let's go. Okay, Dr. J got that, and then, so I think Ole won the game.